Well, I want to thank all of you for coming today um, in support of railroad safety. And I was pleased <coughs> to author SCR 10, which declares September of each year Railroad <laughs> Safety Month. SCR 10 recently passed both houses of the legislature, and thanks to Assembly Member uh, Davis, with unanimous votes. And we all know that California leads the nation in the number of vehicles and pedestrians hit by trains. And these accidents are awful. They uh, destroy lives, damage property, and disrupt freight and passenger train traffic. Rail safety risk will increase. California's population will continue to grow in areas around rail tracks. Freight traffic will increase as shipping and goods movement grows in and out of California ports. And investment in public transportation will increase commuter and intercity rail service. The need for safety education grows along with these trends. And I want to thank the rail operators, the railroad police, uh, uh, Operation Lifesaver volunteers, and others who have dedicated themselves to promoting safety. And I thank you all, and let's work together on this important issue. And uh, Assembly Member Davis is joining me today also to. Um, I want to thank you for your support and sure, absolutely. for you presenting the resolution over in the assembly. And absolutely, go ahead. It, I, thank you so much. Uh, it is a pleasure to join Senator Liu uh, in her very outstanding legislation declaring September as the Rail Safety Month. Uh, as the chair of the Rail Transportation Committee, the Select Committee here, I would also like to acknowledge the work at the federal level of our senator, Diane Feinstein. Uh, as you know, on July 30th, uh, the United States Appropriations Committee uh, appropriated $50 million uh, at the request of Senator Feinstein for commuter rail safety. And the bill also contains an additional $105 million for projects here in our state of California. This is an important step to improve commuter rail safety in our state and really throughout the country. These funds will enable us to use safety measures like the, the positive train control anti-collision technology. <laughs> and certainly, right. uh, Senator Liu is an advocate of that as well as we are here in the assembly. This uh, positive train control systems monitor train locations and speeds and automatically bring trains on a collision course to a stop if engineers do not comply with signals to slow or stop. In fact, rail safety experts say that the recent Los Angeles Metrolink accident, and we both represent the Los Angeles County region, that in fact, uh, the Metrolink accident, which claimed 25 lives, could have been prevented if in fact we had had this technology. So I'll say that I'm hopeful that these monies will help us go far in averting these type of disasters, and again, I'm pleased to stand with Senator Liu in her outstanding legislation, SCR 10. Uh, and thank you so much. We look forward to working together with our leaders. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Chris MacArthur. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Senator Liu, Assemblyman Davis. Uh, on behalf of the city of Riverside, I'm honored to be here today. With 25 rail crossings, Riverside is one of the most <laughs> heavily impacted cities by trains. And as Riversiders, we're all well aware of the tra how tragedy can strike at a moment's notice uh, with such devastating effects. Rail safety has always been and will continue to be an important priority for myself and my colleagues. And as a result of our concerns for the safety of our citizens, on September 1st of this year, we will launch Riverside Rail Safety, a comprehensive outreach campaign to educate students, drivers, and residents of Riverside on railroad safety. Some of the features of our program will include RiversideRailSafety.com, where our residents can go to learn about the dangers of railroad tracks and how to stay alive. Working with Operation Lifesaver to get educational materials to our residents and training community volunteers to take our message directly to our schools, our seniors, businesses, and neighborhoods. Press releases announcing and promoting our campaign, electronic signage throughout our city, public service announcements, radio, message on hold for callers to our city hall, a Good Morning Riverside or monthly chamber, a community breakfast, and also marketing on YouTube and Facebook. And throughout our Riverside Rail Safety Outreach Campaign, we are committed as a city and a community to remain vigilant in our rail safety efforts, educating our students, 
drivers and residents, and most importantly, saving lives. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank much. you all.